Hello folks and welcome back to our playthrough and attempted tutorial series at Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode we briefly made it to King of Denmark. Unfortunately the previous ruler, King Communism the first, had pretty much taken us into a whole bunch of wars and the results of that was ultimately we were weak and this one little guy up here up in Helgoland took us over. Now we were able to successfully plot to end the previous king's life and now we're just down to this guy. Fortunately it looks like there's probably going to be a few more people that we have to take care of before we finally are able to break free. Though we could also probably do a war of independence as well pretty soon. Now, right now, we're currently involved in two wars, and a third war is being sort of declared as well in all of this fun, which it looks like we can't join either side. Probably because this guy is related to our dynasty? Looks that way. That would be my guess anyways. So the one war that we're doing all right with is this one against uh, the Trondish Danish subjugation war. Now what is the goal here? So it started by Nidaros against Denmark. Okay. So this is actually trying to have these guys take over all of Denmark, which is going to really mess up the whole map here. But it's interesting. But We've almost pretty much beat these guys back. Now this other battle, Vestergotland, going for Vren there, that's not going so well. So let's see, this guy has 2886 in troops, most of which are event spawned. So let's, uh, let's start the game up again. Now let's see, we got title loss on succession, several of them. Let's see, we can press, you have a new error, if your character dies now, you will play as Communism the Third. Well, hooray. Is this who we're supporting? I don't even remember who we're supporting. Apparently we're not supporting anyone right now. So I guess put our stuff behind Communism the Third. He's got some good stats so far for someone who's not even full age yet, so... Hopefully he'll end his education well, and we'll be able to actually get something done. Now let's take a look at our troops. Currently we're at 647 out of a potential of 3653. We can get a large army going here. Problem is we just have a whole lot going on. <laughs> so we're not doing too good on that front. We do have, wait, do we still have our marshal going? No, our marshal is just hanging out here. Well, train troops, Mr. Marshal, dude. Should be helping us out here. We can do righteous imprisonment of Bo of Bergendaholmer. Unfortunately, it's not really anything too special. Good news, my co-conspirator, Ail of Asko, has let me know that King Nupa of Denmark will soon have a tra tragic fall off the castle parapets. Fly, little bird, fly. I wonder if that'll end one of these wars. Sometimes when a king dies, a war will end. Sometimes. Not always. Let's see. Our leader's council is discontent. I wonder if we can form a faction. Start a faction. Gunhilder. Doris. Gudrun. So pretty much all women. Nothing too special. If anything, I can probably... Well, let's see. Oh, we can't be allies in another war, and can't do any war with raised armies. Okay. I see now. So pretty much we have to wait for our wars to end before we're able to actually join in all of this mess. Success, it seems, little King Nupa of Denmark had not yet learned how to fly. He died a quick and presumably painless death. Chicken for lunch today, I think. 
The defensive pact opposing Nupa of Nordland has been disbanded. Excellent. I guess, anyways. So now we're under Queen Gunhilder of Denmark. Suppose the only proper thing is to plan her ultimate demise. Which it looks like there's quite a bit of potential here. Now we just gotta invite a few people in. Give away some money here. I've noticed that young communism the third seems to carry a lot of anger around. He should learn temperance. Or he could go for Roth. Roth would help his mar martial skill quite a bit. You know what? We're going to do that. Because we need someone good with martial to take over. All right. Invite you to the plot. Where's the other person? We did have someone else here in the plot, right? I thought we did. Oh yeah, I also did uh, acquire the Jade Dragon DLC. For those who are playing, I don't know if it'll still be going when this episode goes live on Sunday. But hopefully it'll still be going. All the DLC for Crusader Kings 2 is currently on sale. I think it's like 50% off. Same with all the Stellaris stuff. So if you're interested in either of those games, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Alright, so this little group is gradually reinforcing. I think I'm just gonna call them back though. Here in Holstein, Alfer is no longer a participant in the Trondish Danish subjugation war, as his liege, Dag Bossen Gotski, joined the Swedish conquest of Anian as attacker. That is interesting, but weird. I have no idea what happened there, but okay. <laughs> I have decided to institute the Medium Tribal Organization Law. All that is needed is the support of yourself and my other loyal vassals. I think we'll support it because this will... Well, let's see. How are things as far as the law goes? Unreformed pagan tribal vassal opinion. It'll make more people hate her, so that's always a good thing. So you know what? We'll approve it. So hopefully this does get approved. We got two for, two against, and three still deciding. Thanks to my great diplomatic skill, the smuggler's ring in Finland has been destroyed. Excellent. Anyone else yet? No. Oh, I can uh, nominate a successor here. Who can I nominate? Oh, there's really no one here to nominate. Well, that's disappointing. At least no one that I like, which is, you know, myself. <laughs> My dear y'all, permit me to remind you of your obligation and duties as my sworn vassal. To form a conspiratorial faction would be in direct violation of these, and I must ask for your promise never to do so. True, founding such a faction wouldn't be very nice of me. I got that because I am kind, and it helps her opinion of me. Okay. I don't need to do a faction. Because once this war is over... I'll be able to bring forth some good powers of my own. Wipe her out, all of her. Haha. <laughs> well, as we look over to Britain, or not Britain, uh, Europe, we can see that there's still a big mess going on over there. Ulfrind. Who is that? I don't even know who that was. Your niece and your courtier? Oh, my half-sister. Okay. Interesting that they're giving us options with her. 
Uh, nevertheless, nothing too major to worry about. Right now, I'm looking to see what sort of troops these guys have. Because I am wondering about the potential to try and take this location. Uh, Zeland is one of the key locations that you need for religion to reform the religion. I think it's the only other location that we actually need. So if we were able to take it, we would perhaps be able to reform the religion? Take us closer to being able to do, you know, all the fun stuff with, oh, what is going on over here? So is that part of all of this too, or is he, no, he's just on his own, okay. I was wondering what was going on up there. All right, so let's, oh, that wasn't exactly what I wanted. But it'll work, I suppose. Raise the these. We lost the one war. Vrend is gone. So this guy over in Moor. He only has the Chieftain of Oland. Oh, he has both of those little things. Okay. I see what's going on. Bring together all of our little armies here. Of course, the problem is there are a lot of troops over there. 1349 against us. We're not going to have enough for all of that. But at the very least, we should still be able to do a little bit. as far as eating in this whole mess that's over here. I think anyways. Duke Carl the Fat, what is he doing? Oh, he's doing a holy war over there now. Oh wait, no. Oh no, I see now. I see what's going on. It's these guys against those guys, okay. I see what's going on. I was only confused for a moment there. Okay, so I need some commanders here. Since I have lost, like, all of my commanders. Although, for some reason, they're not showing up. Hold on, let's figure out what's going on here. Council Minor Titles. So I do have the commanders. Alfir, Godi Tok. Okay, you're a courtier, you're going to be it. Alfir, you are not worthy. Alright, now we have some commanders in our forces. So let's move that over there. We'll move this over here. It's not perfect because we don't have a full line, but it should work. Unless they have like a massive army going over here. A thousand, uh, that's a little bit. And it looks like Godi Tok has now passed away. <laughs> I guess we'll bring on this girl. Sverker, let everyone know about my plot to kill Queen Gunhildr of Denmark during a drunken stupor. My reputation is ruined. Aw, oh, fudge. Well, how are things going as far as the plot goes? I mean, it's still going. Stupid Sverker. What does she think of me? Attempted murder? She doesn't like me at all. Oh well, it doesn't matter what she likes.
Can't call any allies into a war. I think that's because I'm not directly, like, in a war that I've started. I think it's only because of wars that my liege has started. I think we can speed this up a little bit. Uh, I really want to boost up some of the stuff that I have at my tribe, but at the same time, I don't exactly have the prestige for it, because I need that 500 prestige. Warring reports have reached you regarding your Marshal Doralfer. It seems he has been using your soldiers to extort money from the peasantry and Sealand. Uh... So either way, I get the local revolt risk and the local tax modifier. I will deal with this later. So is it revolt risk for everywhere or just sealant? Okay, if it's just sealant, I'm going to have him suppress revolts. All right, so he's suppressing any revolts. That's pretty much what we need right now. One character owes you a favor. So can we force someone to join a plot? Force acceptance of an end plot, invite to court, arrange marriage, call to arms, ask to embargo, join a faction, doesn't look like we can actually force someone to join a plot. Invite to plot? No. Well, fudge. And it looks like the one guy who was helping us with that plot, Sverker has now decided he didn't want to do that. Did that one law pass? We are at medium tribal organization. So the question obviously becomes, why don't more people dislike our liege? Let's check her vassals. It looks like overall her court does like her. Maybe we can change that. Our chancellor kind of sucks. We do have a better chancellor here. Oh, I think this is the guy that's married to our stepsister, or half-sister. Young Communism III has finished his education. He's just learned the basic skills. But at least we fulfilled our ambition there. Acquire title or become King of Denmark. I think we want to become King of Denmark. We're going to take that. After all, it is our rightful thing to claim, so. I think we might be able to do it as soon as we finish this little war up here. Let's check and make sure she doesn't have a lot of prestige. She does not. So if we needed to, we can just call in all of our, uh, all of our tribal army forces. All right, Communism the Third. We need to get you someone good. Again, we're looking for some good traits around here. Let's start at age. We're looking, we're looking, we're looking. She's a genius. Thrifty Cleric helps fertility. Homosexual does not help fertility. Just honest diligence. Alright, let's pause it for a moment while we continue looking for... Mm. Now we do have this quick girl. She's a dutiful cleric, slothful, cruel, gluttonous... Patient. Ah, she's not too great.
attractive. Mm. She has a lot of stewardship, but again, I don't know if we necessarily need stewardship. I think we'll go with the homosexual girl. Oh, not that one. One right up. Uh, quick, no, the genius. The genius, homosexual, who's just, honest, and diligent. I think she'll work. We'll lose some prestige from it, but you know what? I think it'll be useful. All right, we'll return to our boat. Then return to Denmark. We'll have our forces go back, and then hopefully we can declare war on our liege. Ah, oh, jeez, now she's bringing us into another war. Fine, we'll join the war. Just when I was hoping that maybe, just maybe, I could escape that. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on around here. How much does he have? Just the chieftain of Desmond and the chieftain of Nyland. Where's the chieftain of Desmond? Nyland? Okay, I'm kind of confused. Because it looks like it's at the same location for both. I received a letter for additional funds from my spy master. She's worried that it's too easy for spies to make their way inside your home and wants to take precautionary measures. It's only four gold, that's not too bad. And we should perhaps prepare for it. Go away, go away. How's our gold? Our gold's holding up all right. Okay, so our heir got married. So hopefully that will all get strained around in time. As I entered the gates, I was greeted by a large barking dog. My horse was frightened and started to rear. I was just about to draw my blade to slay the beast when I saw my spy master Kraka come running, shouting, Bad dog! This is our friend that we're supposed to protect. The dog then stopped barking and rolled around placidly on its back. So I got a dog that gives me plot defense power. Anyone else willing to join this plot? Still no? Really? Come on. If we could get the spy master to join us, that would be really nice. We all return to the ship. Whew. Okay, let's return back over here. Wait, did we get involved? Are we now part of both of these things? Apparently we are. I wasn't exactly planning to get involved with both wars, but I guess that's what it is. Truces are expiring with Chiefess Koblaith the Spider. What is she over? Oh, over there. Son was born to uh, Svenk and uh, my half-sister. We'll just call him Hasting. Alright, I think we have more ships available here as well. I think anyways.
Oh dear, there's a lot of forces around here. How many darn wars are we in now? The Swedish claim on Denmark? Well, that could be an interesting thing overall, if we were to lose that war. Because if we lost that war, we would then be able to join Denmark, or join Sweden or whatever. And once we were part of that, we could then do what we needed to do as far as taking over Sweden. And once we did that, we might be able to form the Empire. Definitely something to keep in mind. Arranged marriage between my daughter... Who is this guy? Sure. Not too concerned with him, but sure. Can I form an alliance? I can form an alliance. Would it be good to form an alliance? 1.96k, he has a lot of forces. You know what, we're gonna form an alliance. Hopefully he doesn't get us involved with too many pesky things. Oh no, we were doing so well. What happened? Yarrow Communism, the first, the second, Feast in Valhalla at age 37. He died a mangled mess, a shining example of diligence. His duty was never neglected, a godly man, Communism the second is with Odin now. What is a mangled mess? Communism the third received a whole bunch of stuff. So I have no idea what happened, but apparently I was a mangled mess, and now I'm dead. <laughs> you have a new heir if your character dies now, you will play as Alexander II. So it could be that Alexander II ends up taking over after all, Omar. You, you may be pleased, potentially. Alright, I guess we want to become a counselor. Or, no, we'll groom an heir right now. I think that's probably our best bet. Should I focus on seduction? Seduction could be useful, because I could seduce some of the people of my liege to get them to maybe join our plots. Something to consider. And she's offering us to be steward, which is not a good choice, but okay, whatever. I am going to forbid myself from leading armies, at least for the moment. I should have commanders here. I don't know what ha keeps happening with my commanders, though. Oh, I have no prestige to bring forth any commanders. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we ended one war. She wants to appoint me a commander? Sure. I'm not looking to join any wars, just... The or join any battles just yet, until we are a bit more sure of everything. I'm starting to think that girly might fancy me. Make a move. We'll just make a whole bunch of babies. Throw all of Gavelkind out the window. Also, Sterla, my half-brother, apparently has control over a lot of my stuff. That can't stay. Oh, close that up. So my current vassals... It's really just Sterla. And he already doesn't like me. He doesn't have many troops either, so you know what? We're gonna revoke. Oh, I must have 50 prestige. Okay, we'll have that soon then. Oh, I need to fill my council, because apparently everyone left when I wasn't looking. I got plenty of spy master people who want to be a spy master. But I don't have a marshal or a steward. <laughs> oh, 
Oh dear. All the fun things that happen. Can I bring a noble? I got enough gold for that. Excellent. We'll turn him into our steward. We're going to get off the boats, and then we're going to go do what we have to to defeat this little army over here. And another war? Really, people? You can't just leave me alone for a moment. You just gotta go and take Finland from me. You guys are ready to go. Let's head over, take this little place out. I think that's the only place we have to actually take out. Duchy of Holland and the County of Zealand. How does he have the County of Zealand? Isn't Zealand... Oh no, I see you. Never mind. I understand. I think I understand. Oh yeah, because Duchy is the actual big section. Never mind. I was confused for a moment. It's alright. It happens a lot. <laughs> yeah, our overall goal here is we pretty much do want to let uh, Sweden take overall control. Then once that's done, we'll be able to actually get some of our plans in motion. I think once we are done here, we're gonna head back, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out raiding. I think that is what our plan is going to be. As you're out hunting, one afternoon a bearded elder approaches, donning a simple traveler's cloak. Uh, let's see, do, 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 Horn of Mead. Oh no, I know what this man is. Oh, I could say that that was Odin. I could become zealous. Well, let's see. Zealous. Helps martial. Church opinion. Religious same traits. Or cynical. I'll do it, if only for the prestige. And I realize now, I just lost all that prestige that I was building up with my previous king. I still have no idea how he ended up a mangled mess. But I suppose I can at least get a commander here now. And why does no one like me? I have no idea. Alright, so let's do tolerance, let's do popular customs. We'll do trade practices as well. Alright, that war is over with. Bring our forces back over there. And then we're going to do some raiding. Oh, what do you want us to join now? Bjorg of Vestfold, King Bo of... Against, like, all of those people, pretty much. You asked us to join every single war there, really. A son was born to King... or to Jarl Communism the Second the Third. I think I just need to leave it as Jarl Communism. And Gurley. Well, hooray! We'll just name him Communism. Then hopefully the qualifier will follow him. Seems my amorous adventures have resulted in a child. Little Communism is my spitting image. Legitimize him. Acknowledge him as mine. Well, let's see. Full inheritance. Can be married off to form alliances. Well, legitimize him, I think. Legitimize bastard. You only got a little diplomacy hit. Alright, you guys. Unit owner is at peace, really? Oh, that means I have to actually 
fight here or can I at least provoke this he's not gonna like it does he have any power against me no he does not could I do a plot revoke the chiefdom of Yeland can I invite someone into it I think I need to invite someone into it, though. Oh, fudge it. We're just gonna take it. Please deny it. Please try. Dear half-brother, may your years be short and miserable. I will not allow you to steal my titles without a fight. You are no longer my liege lord. Oh, that's fine. Then I will just take over your land myself. Unless we're taken over by Sweden first, which could happen. Council is discontent. Your liege's council is discontent. Successor nominations. Well, I suppose right now I might as well nominate... Oh, I forgot. I can't nominate any of the people I actually want. We'll nominate communism there. Even if he is a bastard. <laughs> Come on, let me win this, you bastards. Fine, I'll just go over, free up this location, then maybe you'll decide you want to go over there? I don't know, we'll see. Also, I'm realizing that this episode is going way over the time <laughs> that I was planning. All because I want to revoke this title from my half-brother. Low tribal organization? We're going to decline. <laughs> eh, everyone said they wanted it though. Fudge. Fudge. A young, talented artist from Helgoland proposes to paint an iconic portrait of Jarl Communism, the first, the second of Sealand. This will be grand in the main hall. Might as well do it. Alright, we won one little battle here. So let's go back to the boats. Wait for them to head over there. Then we'll drop our forces off in Yiland. And then we're going to try and do this war again. Or this uh, siege again. So how is our queen allied whatever? They're gradually making their way down for whatever reason. Because there's so many different tribal armies going on. Go take it. If you can grab that real quick, we'll be set. If they start to head this way, I will just go ahead and do an assault. Come on, you're almost there. Almost there. Also, we're about to lose 
Finland there. My marshal tells me that one of my commanders, Communism the Third, has improved significantly. Like me? So, heavy infantry leader? Oh, that was me, okay. Well, cool. It's always nice when we actually improve. Good. And... Alright, next. Revoke title. The Chiefdom of Yiland. And revoke title. The Chiefdom of Slesvig. He is now in my court. Now what should I do with him? In the dungeon... We'll put him in house arrest. Now the big question. How do we end this war? You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you will play as Alexander II. What happened to my child? I thought... Or maybe I don't actually want to nominate my child just yet. Well, he's going to hate me forever. Yeah, revoke my title. Negative 180 for 930. <laughs> or till the year 930. <laughs> I'd have to last till like 100. Alright, so that war was lost. I'm still disgruntled that I can't actually have my forces, like, you know, go raiding in the middle of a war. It's like so disappointing. Uh... I'm gonna disband, because I want to get this war to end and have us become part of Sweden. Once that happens, things will look much better. Alright, so the Vestfolder Danish Subjugation War. Lost control of Somna. Some battles we've won. So, is the only thing that we have to do is take over Vestfold there? And that's what it looks like. Too bad pretty much all of our forces are going to loot, be lost now and that attack there. So we're down to 717 troops now. I don't know where they're located. They're somewhere. Alright, let's just speed this up. And it's at 100%. And now we should end up part of Sweden. And King Bo is going to have control over, like, everything now. Alright, well... If there's any time to end it, I think now is it. So we're going to end this episode for today. Yes, the battle was lost and we did become part of Sweden. Good news though is now we are part of one massive empire. So we're getting pretty close to being able to eventually form that empire of Scandinavia. There's still a few things standing in the way that we'll have to deal with, but I think we might have a chance at doing it, so we'll see what happens in the next episode. Thanks for watching folks. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to stay notified on all of my streams and videos. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon. Uh, always, well, that's the actual way you stay tuned to my streams and videos, because subbing, that doesn't always do it. Um, what else do we need to do? Well, I guess the big thing is actually, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I completely messed up my outro here, so I'm just going to end it here for today. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks, and I will see you all next time.